Time form, time form. Of course, with uh, Bradbury Chocolate unbeaten in seven appearances, she's got to come up as the five-star rater for this race. Bradbury Chocolate to beat, well, we've got Outback Legend there, but Outback Legend is a scratching, so we'll put in number five, Aldini, as the main danger. But Bradbury Chocolate is the one to beat. We've all got our fingers crossed for her. She's the favourite for the race, marked at $1.75. David, do you think she can win? I think she'll win, Wayne. Yes, yeah, seven from seven. Great win the other day. You wouldn't want to be against her, with, with, would you? You'd rather be with her. They're moving in now for the fifth race. Now we're just about set. Ready to jump now, race five. Bradbury Chocolate, all the rage. She's $1.75 with bookmakers. Has a big following Australia wide as she chases her eighth win. They're off and racing. And she was one of the first to go, Bradbury Chocolater. In a storm out wide and splits her were fast away. And now Sol Beard gathering momentum, going to third. Dr. Ichi was fourth. Whiskey Highway landing about fifth in Aldini. Bradbury Chocolate, she jumped on terms, but then she lacked some speed. She drifted back to midfield. Golden Trinkets went by her. About three lengths away then came all the talk, followed by getting well back as they head down the side, all significant. Chiwatara and bounding along as last. Splits to the inside. Led in a storm by head. 600 left to run. Whiskey Highway trailing in third. 35 32, the first 600. Aldini fourth. Dr. Ichi fifth and deep. Even wider soul bid. Bradbury Chocolate ridden defensively near the rail. Looking for inside runs. Needing some room to move. She's gone right up behind them. I think there's a gap there now. Whiskey Highway in front from Splitzer. In a storm comes with them. Oh, she's trying to get out on Bradbury Chocolate. There's not enough room, I don't think. Then came Aldini, Dr. Ichi and Sol. Beard, favourite can't win. In a storm, sprinted to the lead. Aldini comes after it. Soul bit out wide. Soul bit at cricket score odds. Gets up. Beats either Aldini, Dr. Ichi, and her the inside in a storm. No luck for Bradbury Chocolate at a vital stage. She just ran out of room. Then all the talk, followed by Whiskey Highway, Tuatara, all significant. Well back in the field was bounding along. Splitzer and Golden Trinkets out towards the tail. Sol Bid, Sol Bid, first up for Craig Cousins, has come with a scorching run down the centre of the track, and Sol Bid's got the money, Jason Leatherby. Some of us were waiting for an easier race, first up with Sol Bid, but... <laughs> Craig Cousins has had the last laugh and got up at Saturday level. 14 soul bid, Jason Leatherby first. Two second, Dr. Ichi, my events. Five third, Aldini, Tegan Harrison. Six fourth in a storm, it's paid over $80 on the okay, take go, as we go to Wayne in the enclosure. Okay, David, that was a bit of a win. Yeah, I got a bit worried earlier when he was caught deep, but I suppose the lightweight, it kept him in it, but yeah, yeah. very impressive, I thought. Yeah, yeah. And two right, it was very impressive, storming down the outside, but was caught wide the whole way, was it? Yeah, he sort of went forward early, and then when he grabbed hold of him, he just sort of overreacted, which he does, and he got caught deep, but yeah, to the horse's credit, and yeah, we old mate, he kept going, so <laughs> that was great. We, we were concentrating on the horses over on the inside, and all of a sudden, these sweepers were coming from nowhere, and so big, just over the top of them. Yeah, and I... Actually, I thought at the top of the straight, I thought he's had enough of this horse, but then he sort of found his, <laughs> found his second wind. It was beautiful. All right, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, on Wayne. The win today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, David. 
Yes, Sol Bed showed promise last campaign. I remember he won his maiden at uh, Sunshine Coast on the Cushion Track. His other win was at Ipswich in a Class 1, then he was tipped out late April, produced first up today. And uh, he's got the prize. That's a, a terrific performance for Connections to win that race first up. He caught the eye in a, a trial here recently. We thought it uh, might have been a little tough for him first up today, but he's done the job in good fashion. Ridden by Jason Leatherby. Good to see Jason back in the winning list here. Continuing the fantastic run apprentices are having in recent weeks on the city circuit. Raced by M. Dunn, D. Cousins, B. Elliott, G. Norton, S. Roderick. The three-year-old bay gelding by all bar one and have held that smile, and they'll be holding the smile for a long time because uh, to win first up and so impressively after being wide all the way, top performance. The time was 111. 35-32, the first 600, the sprint home 35-68. Bookies will be cheering as well. Sol bid $81.60 and 13.10. Dr. Ichi $5, Aldini $170. Quinella $600.70. Exacta $1,333.70. And your trifecta $13,380.10 and bookmakers posted sole bid $51, Dr. Ichi 19 and Aldini at 7. Let's go back to the enclosure and Wayne's about to have a chat with winning jockey Jason Leatherby. Okay David, thank you very much. Jason, you've sprung a little bit of a surprise on us there. Yeah, it was, and he didn't make it easier for himself, easy. No. Like he wanted to sort of shy away from the ones coming across. And that's why I've got caught wide, and yeah. but he really dug deep that last 200 and fought on well. The boys were saying he was deep most of the trip. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I was stuck probably free and come around the bend. I've sort of gone around and saw four, five, one, but yeah. once we straightened up, he just kicked, and especially that last 200, he really <laughs> dug deep. So he's picked up and he's charged to the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. David, Jason Leatherby. Yes, Wayne, thanks for that. We stand by now for weight on race five on 14256. Of course, the favourite Bradbury Chocolate just missing a run at a vital stage in the straight. There wasn't a lot of room there. In fact, we'll see that now. We're going to the replay. And there's Solbid moving into the gates. This is the replay of race five. 